All right, so another thing about taxes. Taxes tend to be inefficient when the government gets involved. But can taxes be efficient? So again, what does efficiency mean? It means that's where supply is equal to demand. That's where we want to be. That's our point of efficiency. However, when there is a marginal social cost, as seen by the red line, we are now producing at a lower price and a higher quantity. Or I should say, at a higher quantity, and when quantity goes up, price has fallen. However, society really wants us to be producing here, where supply is equal to demand. Our marginal social cost says we are producing at a quantity that exceeds the allocative amount, where we have allocative efficiency. And when quantity has increased to where we have a marginal social cost, our price has decreased. This could be, for an example, uh, producing uh, too, much, uh, too many cars, and all those cars on the road are causing pollution. So, for example, in the Milwaukee and Chicago area, we have a summer gasoline that has additives in because without the additives, um, we'd have more pollution, and those additives reduce the social costs to the allocatively efficient level. So how do we do that? We do it with taxes. Where we have our quantity at our social cost, and our price at our social cost, by now having a tax that is going to shift our supply line leftward. Remember, a tax is a cost. A cost decreases our supply. And now, by decreasing supply, our quantity with the tax has decreased. And with a decrease in quantity, our price with the tax has increased. However, this is the socially optimal level, and therefore the tax has made this an efficient tax. Because without the tax, we had a marginal social cost. With the tax, the marginal social cost disappears, and we now have a level that is allocatively efficient, and this type of tax is a good tax to have. And that is a little bit more about taxes.